Hey, this is Brent Jensen. You're listening to No Sleep Till Sudbury, the show where we talk about the music that makes your skin vibrate. The show is brought to you by Priya Pickups. What you want, what you need, what you love. Check them out at priapickups.com. The show is also brought to you by Fleming Properties, where every home evaluation is on the house. Steve Fleming came up with that himself. Today on No Sleep Till Sudbury, Michael Pinball Clemens joins me. Pinball is, of course, the legendary pro football running back and return specialist who is now the GM of CFL team, the Toronto Argonauts. He's here today to talk about the annual Christmas celebration he and his family host in service of marginalized youth called Christmas with the Clemenses. Here he is, Pinball Clemens. Pinball Clemens, welcome to the show, my friend. It's great to have you. How are you? Oh, oh, thank you, Brett. Uh, it's it's even better to be on this end of the phone. Uh, it's great, <laughs> great to talk to you. Thank you. Now, Pinball, I know from my previous interactions with you that you are a probably one of the nicest human beings on the planet, and b you're a very big believer in prioritizing community. And you've been recognized for that consistently. Now, you and your wife co-founded the Pinball Clemens Foundation. And to date, you've raised more than $17 million for marginalized youth. That's incredible. Now, the foundation has built more than 200 classrooms in developing countries. And you are currently working locally here now in the GTA to provide career opportunities to marginalized youth. And that brings us to the topic of today's conversation, my friend. Christmas with the Clemenses. Uh, well, you know, um, what happened here is, is Brett, um, my wife and I mm-hmm. um, uh, decided that, okay, um, Christmas, wonderful, our favorite time of year, mm-hmm. but we don't need any more stuff. So uh, instead of us changing gifts, of course, we took care of our girls, right? But instead of us exchanging gifts, we decided that we were going to do that for a shelter. So, um, uh, so we did it for a, a youth shelter and, and, uh, so, uh, 50 kids, we bought a, you know, a gift for every kid and, and, uh, it was made it a little fun because you get a chance to choose whichever gift, uh, you like when your name is pulled. And, uh, of course, then there's the end of it where, you know, there's only one gift left. So, so instead of that, what, what happens then at a certain point, you wanted to be at the end because the person who was last actually got two gifts. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it was a really fun night. And uh, uh, we had uh, it was catered. Uh, we uh, had uh, DJ, all of those things that we did it for several years. And um, one one Christmas morning, we woke up and uh, it was that realization that, you know, this morning we're excited. We're going to open uh, gifts with our girls. We're going to call home and, and see what they're doing in Florida. Mm-hmm. and we two, we had such a great time with last night. Um, don't have family uh, to unite with on to, on today. So while we we thought we were doing such a wonderful thing, we said that we needed to do more. And so, um, so from that standpoint, is when we came up with the idea of the foundation. Uh, have have yes done lots of work in, in developing countries, but we also now um, uh, give scholarships and uh, bursaries to young people who are marginalized and racialized, and and uh, uh, we take them all the way to employment. Uh, so there are some three thousand young people uh, a year that we affect. Uh, uh, um, and and successfully in, in the workforce and, uh, in a career, not just a job. That's so great. That's incredible. Well, well, uh, thank you for for saying so. Uh, uh, but we all all kind of do our, our our little part, right? And we have so many great people at at, at our foundation that uh, that that do the the hard work. And and uh, and and instead of having this huge staff uh, for cost, we've partnered with uh, different organizations uh, to pull it through to to maximize the dollar, mm-hmm. right? So we we partnered with uh, an organization. Um, uh, that, uh, does mentoring. We, we 
partner with another organization uh, that that <clears throat> is on the career development end and actually get them a job uh, within 45 days of graduation. And the micro micro credential programs that we have uh, go directly into a job. There's also some great organizations that we uh, work with um, uh, who actually do uh, the teaching in, in some of the programs that we run. And so uh, it, it is a, a great collaborative effort. Uh, it's, it's certainly uh, not something we could do by ourselves. Wow, that's incredible. We are we are grateful, and uh, and the young people. Oh my goodness, they are so inspiring, and the the opportunity um, just to uh, to meet young people. There's a young guy I was I was talking to uh, um, a family in, in Liberty Village, and uh, this young guy was kind of standing behind me. He was really patient, and and uh, he was just waiting there. And I almost felt awkward because uh, you know the the you know, the couple I was talking to, you know, I, you know, it, they were really nice, but I, I felt him waiting, right? And, uh, <laughs> and I was kind of wanting to to turn or to do something, but he was just patient and he waited and, and uh, he, you know, he talked about us, you know, giving him a scholarship many years ago oh, wow. and him now being, um, the uh, health coordinator, or I, did, I don't know the, I can't remember the exact name, but he was a, a coordinator of a health division uh, of a company, of a, of a, a pretty large company, um, uh, several hundred employees, and and uh, uh, and he he just wanted to say hi. Another uh, uh, young man uh, was having dinner, and um, uh, at the same place my daughter was, and and he took he paid for. The their bill and and you know they kind of came and asked why he says oh um it was uh your, your parents foundation that oh. that actually uh gave me a scholarship and and now um yeah he was you know the supervisor of of something and and uh uh and i was in winnipeg uh and you know another lady came up to me in winnipeg and told me how much um uh she appreciated uh the fact that that we were helping her daughter Right. Wow. And uh, so so, you know, it is now so that we um, are, are centered in in Toronto here. But but we do we do work in, uh, I think, five or six uh, uh, provinces uh, mm-hmm. at this point. So uh, so we're starting to move and grow uh, and, and be able to affect more young people. Wow. Penn, th- these are amazing things. Congratulations. All right. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So so now. Christmas with the Clemenses has become a Canadian tradition, really. This is the seventh year that you've been doing this. It's a, it's a performance and fundraiser designed to get everybody into the Christmas spirit and the spirit of giving. And I, I, this year, it's uh, Wednesday, December 6th, right? It's at the Roy Thompson Hall. It is. And so this is a big jump. We've moved to the Roy Thompson Hall and, and uh, uh, we're really excited about it. Uh, and uh, we have some just tremendous uh, performers and and uh, and we still may have a surprise or two. Uh, but Glenn Lewis uh, will be there, Carl Wolf, the crooner and uh, um, uh, the St. Mike's uh, Boys Choir. Uh, they will be performing as well. And uh, the effervescent uh sean jones always happy you know whether you see him on a commercial or or or, or uh, singing or hosting uh yeah. different things um pastor brown is one of our favorites um just uh every year mm-hmm. uh year after year the people that come you know they oh i love that and, and uh so so uh just tremendous simone denny um yeah. you know uh, worldwide acclaim uh, for her. Um, uh, Pamela Shirley has this c- crazy voice, uh, just so and uh, as as does uh, Gary Beals, and and so so uh, it'll be those uh, uh, performing and more. And my bride is. Um, 
Diane, a Lee. singer herself. And right. that is, yeah, that is indeed um, why we uh, came to this idea of, of being able to come to the end of the year. And, and uh, we'll get a chance to speak about some of the things that are going on with the foundation. We'll also get a chance to uh, hear um, at least uh, one, one of our, our students uh, in the program, either a, a present student or graduate. And, and so, uh, so there'll be, it'll, it'll be a time where we'll just have lots of fun. And, and I love Christmas too. I love this time of year and, 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 and the music that's associated with it. Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay. So you know what, Penn, that's a great uh, segue into what I was going to ask you next. I know that Christmas is one of your favorite times of year. So on this show, guests talk about the music that holds a special meaning for them. So given that it's Christmas time, I would ask you, what are some of the Christmas carols that play at the Clemens home or, or, or mean something to you in particular? All right. All right. Now we, uh, I, I am, I am Christmas crazy. And, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so, and that, that, that runs rampant through our house. And, uh, so we, we, uh, we have the combination, right, mm-hmm. of the the uh, the old gospel, right, uh, renditions, right, huh? and and the R and B renditions, mm-hmm. right. So 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 um, uh, there's there's a group that's not they're not all that well known, but they're called the few few good men. Uh-huh. Um, and uh and they sing a version of silver bells right uh yeah just uh and 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 so we have all these little art um kirk franklin uh has a you know a wonderful uh album uh, he's like actually he's got a second one out now i haven't really heard that one but but that's one that sort of plays on recycle now la and babyface Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, La, La Face Records is what, what they were called. But they did uh, writing for a little bit of everybody in the R&B world. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, and they have this album called La Face Christmas. Okay. Right. And uh, uh, Chris, Chris Brown sings a rendition of, of, of the Christmas song, too, that I just I absolutely love. So, nice. so um, yeah, it, it's just it's, it's so many of them. And and. And I have to say that that now our girls really sort of um, keep us up with the music. Um, this this time of year is is a little bit busy for me in terms of the football part of things, mm-hmm. and and so so they actually um, you know are, are the first ones to get the music on now. <laughs> Usually, Dad, I couldn't wait. I was the first. So so they actually uh, it would be interesting to see what they would say in terms of music. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'd love to so, hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Now, when when does the uh, tree go up at the Clemens place? Uh, so generally, right. So mm-hmm. uh, because you know we still have a little bit of that U.S. blood in us, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. So it's it's generally um, a day or two uh, within the first uh, few days after the American Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So right. so somewhere around the first of December. Right. Uh, is is sort of OK now. Now. It, and, and so while we celebrate um, the uh, Canadian Thanksgiving, uh, uh, but and not we don't we don't necessarily celebrate the the American Thanksgiving anymore. But we celebrate the Canadian one. Right. But but it is our sort of, you know, uh, introduction to the Christmas season. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> that is so funny that you say that I do the exact same thing here with my family. So I celebrate yes. American Thanksgiving and on the Friday, the black Friday, that evening we put the Christmas tree up uh, to kick off the Christmas vacation or the Christmas holiday rather. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's generally around the same time that yeah. we do. Yeah. So yes. Yes. So, yeah. so uh, eggnog, Christmas carols get played for the first time and it's just it's such a fantastic time. Uh, it is, it is, is, uh, yeah, I wish it was every day. <laughs> <laughs> so <do I. laughs> uh, well, ben, I am, I'm very appreciative that you took the time to do this for me today. Thank you very much. Do you mind if I give the details about Christmas with the Clements? Um, oh no, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, so just just again, it's on December sixth mm-hmm. uh, at Roy Thompson Hall. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, uh, doors open at, at six o'clock, right? Uh -huh. um, and the show starts at seven. It's it starts you know right on time, uh, but uh, but we we do like to get out and mingle uh, at six o'clock. And so if you're there an hour early, we're we're running around saying hello, high fiving, and and uh, um, and it's it's really really a good time. So I just. Uh, um, want to uh just encourage uh people um uh, if you want to get into the christmas spirit early um uh please come join us at uh, christmas with the clemens at roy thompson hall uh on december 6th uh it will be a great time and, and uh, not only that you'll be helping young people who really need it that's fantastic fantastic ben congratulations and and once again thank you very much i appreciate it all right. Thank you so much, Brett. Really appreciate you having me, okay? And you know what? Yes. Merry, Merry Christmas to you, sir. I hope you have a fantastic yeah. holiday season. I know you love it. Thank you so much, and Merry Christmas to you as well and yours. All right. All the yes. best to your All family, right. sir. Okay. Thank you. Take good okay. care. Oh, you, you as well, okay? okay. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye for now. All right. This has been No Sleep Till Sudbury with Brent Jensen and my very special guest, Mr. Michael Pinball Clements. Until next time, folks, take good care. Brent Jensen is the best-selling author of No Sleep Till Suffering, Leftover People, and All My Favorite People Are Broken. All titles available in stores and on Amazon Worldwide.